<laughs> uh, I'm Peter. Uh, I was diagnosed with Tourette's when I was around eight. Uh, I've had it all my life, and um, <coughs> uh, I've seen tons of doctors and been on almost like every psychiatric medication I can think of, and none of it's really worked at all. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do I do now? Just keep tick. Um, what are, what what types of ticks do you have? Uh, I have like a coughing one, like that, and then um, I um, <laughs> hum a lot, and then uh, I have some like physical ones where like that, like do that <laughs> with my hand and stuff, <clears throat> and um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just, just a lot. You had an abdominal tick. Yeah, oh, it'd take me a while to go through all of them, I think. Both can leave jaws. Yeah, I'd uh, do that a lot. Okay. Which isn't fun. <laughs> Which isn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a little strange. Okay, so how did you find Um, well, I'm all. Well, you can tell that story. It's... For a while? Yeah. You should tell it. You know but. it better. Hi, well, am I on there? Hi, I'm Margo, Pete's <laughs> mom. And um, I had uh, gotten an email from the Tourette's um, Association talking about a potential research uh, <coughs> project out of New York. Um, dealing with Tourette's and uh, the use of a dental orthodontic. And um, so I started to do some research and found out about Dr. Sims. <laughs> and when I spoke with um, Cornell Hospital, I found out that there was going to be a probably a significant waiting period before my son would be able to uh, partake in something like that. So I thought, why don't I just go straight to the source? And I researched Dr. Sims, and we came down, and Peter has, uh, for the past few days, gone through some things, and now we have the peace. Uh, he's had ticks his whole life, uh, and sometimes very, very bad, to the point that it impacted his ability to just do normal things throughout the day. So he would miss school, uh, if the ticks were particularly bad. Um, they sort of went down when he was in his late teens, and then probably around 19 they all came back really bad. And um, so the past few years have been re really difficult with uh, the ticking and all different kinds of new ticks coming and going. So this is the first time I've seen Peter, once he puts this thing, this orthodontic in, uh, a lot of these ticks just seem to dissipate. It's, it's pretty amazing. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's very good. All right. Good. Yeah. Good. Try it out. See how it in. Find yourself in, there you go, <laughs> find yourself in the groove. And describe, describe what it felt like after you started wearing it for a while? Um, it kind of felt like uh, my whole body stopped being uh, so tense and uh, I didn't really have the urge to like, I don't feel like I had to get anything out. It kind of just felt like I could just relax for once and just chill without going insane. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and mom, you saw for yourself? Yes, because when he takes this out, within a few minutes the ticks are back and then they get really bad. And I can tell you that even last night, I couldn't wait to get here today because the ticks were so bad last night. And as Pete was saying, he has a lot of vocal ticks, so there's a lot of the screeching and the, the humming and the, it's just a cacophony of noise all the time and it's heartbreaking because there's nothing you can do to stop it and I know it bothers him and I know that 
he knows that after a while it's hard for people around him and it's just uh, it's just really it's been a really difficult time for him his whole life with this and he's never really complained about it but I know that it's it's taken its toll so I am just this is like a an answered prayer and the fact that there's no drugs involved is just amazing because that just always would create something else to worry about. Now would you recommend this for somebody else? Oh, I have um, a number of friends who have children with Tourette's. Uh, one in particular who I will be calling as soon as I get back to New York. Uh, she has a son who has suffered really bad with Tourette's. And, um, I would highly recommend this. I can't wait to see how it progresses over the next few months. And uh, fingers crossed. I don't Didn't hear any you? ticking. <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah. yeah. No humming. And you no feel good. Walk the, mm. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Me too. All right. Give him. Give everybody. Thumbs up. Double. There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Take care.